are not profitable with trading because you don't know about these three core entry models. A lot of people come to the markets just trying out different strategies, but they don't know the core just entry models. They don't know about the core principles. How does the market move? If you stick till the end of this video, you will learn how to trade three different market positions without ever wondering what you have to trade or feeling lost in the markets. Hello, folks. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Islam and here we help anyone who has an extra 15 minutes a day to become a six or even seven figure trader without using a complex analysis or being glued to the charts. So if you didn't subscribe, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. First of all, before we start, guys, I have to clarify that there are two market conditions when the price is trending, whether to the upside or to the downside. And there is a market condition where the price is doing neither of that it is just ranging in the sideways and to trade these market conditions we have to focus on different trading models and a lot of people miss this because um, they are only focused on trading one method that's why they have a lot of like uh, losing streaks sometimes they do have a winning streak and when they got into the losing streak it feels like uh, like during months, there might be the range of market conditions. So if they uh, if they are focused on trading the trends, they will be just missing uh, all the trades. They will be getting into the wrong market uh, trades and will have a lot of losses. And that will just lead them to question their ability to trade, tweaking their strategy and eventually just losing as a trader. And the first model that we are going to cover is the breakout model. Here we catch the expansions in the market. So for you to understand, guys, uh, one more time, the price moves in these two market conditions, the range and the trend. And price never sticks to one of these positions forever. After the range, there is always going to be the trend. After the trend, there is always going to be the range. So with a breakout model, we are focused on trading the range market conditions when the price is compressed and we are ready to cut to catch the breakout from our range. It's pretty simple, guys. We just need the range when the price is just ranging, making neither the higher highs or higher lows. It is in the range and then we look for the breakout out of that range and then re the retest of our range. But guys, um, that might be a little bit just <laughs> too easy. That's why just I want to show you a real market like the trades in the markets in the charts. This is exactly my model of trading the breakouts. Your model might be a little different. So. All, everything that I do is trading on the 15 minute time frame. I open and appear. This is your USD, by the way. And I identify the first four hours of the Tokyo session. Uh, at that time, the price is a little bit slow. It gets a little bit rangy. So I use this exact point, which is as mechanical as possible. It's the same every single day for you, for me and for anyone else. I just wait for the price to break out through our range, retest it as you can see over here, and then a strong uh, move out of that range. Of course, it does not uh, work like that every time because and that's why we do have two more models that we will talk a little bit later. But as you can see over here, we do have another example. The price is breaking out coming back into the range, retesting and then just expansion again. Sometimes we might have the range, but the price is breaking out. Uh, it is not coming back to retest our range, but making the expansion. Another example over here, guys, uh, this is uh, this vertical gray stripe uh, represents the first four hours. So basically the price is breaking out, retesting and then going into the direction. The same happens over here as well. This is a high, this is a low, the price is making the breakout, coming back into the range, uh, retesting it and then making the breakout. Basically, like here we can uh, we can use a lot of entry methods like the order blocks, break blocks. Uh, most of the times I prefer using the FIB levels uh, over here, as you can see. Um, the price broke out, retested the 60% and then gave us 5R. Like uh, when we are entering at the 60%, I prefer placing my stop loss at the 80% and here's how the price is giving us a beautiful 5R trade. And most of the times you can trade those breakouts uh, 
catching the five R trades. And over here, for example, we do have our range, but the price is breaking out, never giving us the entry. Another example over here, we do have our range. The price is breaking out over here, retesting our range over here and then falling to the downside. By the way, guys, this strategy works perfect during the major uh, sessions like London session and the New York sessions. So guys, uh, enough for the examples for the first entry model. The second entry model that we are going to cover is the reversal model. This is everything that you need to catch uh, the reversals in the direction of the trend. For example, the price is trending over here and every time it makes the pullback we are going to catch a reversal somewhere around like inside of the previous impulse like this is very simple and this is called the supply and demand trading like a lot of people call it supply and demand trading and this is a reversal model so reversal model trading strategy should be in your bank of uh, trading strategies that is exactly going to help you to trade the trendy market conditions and let's cover some couple of examples on the chart in that exact uh, reversal strategy first of all works best when you are trading it uh, in line with the previous day trend for example again i'm trading on the 15 minute time frame all of the methods, all of the uh, entry models will be executed on the 15 minute time frame. We just look at the previous day candle. For example, it's bearish over here. So the upcoming days we might be anticipating to be bearish as well. Of course, there, uh, there, there is more in it, like more to look for, more confluences that we have to look for. But I want to give you the core idea over here. For example, the price is retracing into the previous day candle uh, just retesting this supply level and then reversing to the downside another example over here the price is retracing into the previous day candle here we do have a beautiful uh, demand zone the price is retesting this demand zone and then expanding to the upside over here we do have the breakout model the price is breaking out and then continuing over here like we do have the v-shape formation a little bit indecisive day then over here we do have a bullish day so the next day the price is retracing into the previous day candle uh just retesting the this beautiful uh demand zone over here and then completely reversing to the upside this is exactly how to trade what is the reverse model is and over here we do have the example of the breakout model for example the previous day candle was a little bit compressed it was just indecisive uh, so after the compression we always do have the expansion uh, as we have talked the market goes from the rangy market to the trendy market from the trendy market to the rangy market and so on so over here you can see uh, this is our range uh, and over here uh, over here this is our range the price is breaking to the upside we're testing the range and then going to the upside like probably giving us a five hour trade again for example this day the previous day candle was super bullish over here we do have um the price is retracing into the previous day candle uh retesting this demand zone and then reversing to the upside over here we do have our uh reversal model when the price is breaking out out of our range retesting the range and then going uh, making an expansion over here you can see the heavy range another example of the reversal model uh, the previous day candle is bearish as you can see over here and then price is retracing it is breaking out out of the range and it's retesting this beautiful uh, supply zone and reversing from it so basically guys um this is first two uh, models and there's a third model which is called the manipulation sometimes price is breaking out of the range uh it's breaking out of the range and making an expansion uh sometimes it is following the trend but sometimes the price is literally indecisive like uh during couple of days we might be just in a rangy market con in the rangy market conditions and that is where the concepts of the liquidity comes in and in this case we will be looking for the liquidity grabs around the key uh liquidity levels and then trading them and a lot of people just use the equal highs trend line liquidity 
But all of that is just a nonsense because they are just connecting some random dots in the markets and thinking that that's a liquidity. But we need something more, you know, more mechanical. So it will be easy to spot every single day. And you can even teach your grandma to spot to spot that, like for that to be as mechanical as possible to spot that. Uh, so yeah and i do have that and that is exactly guys the previous day high and previous day low those levels those levels have a lot of liquidity around them and of course these levels are not going to reverse the price all the time but for that we need the proper market conditions for example over here again we're sticking to the 15 minute time frame you can see that the last couple of days we are kind of like inside of this range we're not moving much to the upside or to the downside and we are in a heavy range so over here you can see the price is sweeping the previous day high like making this uh failing to make the higher high over here we can enter and reversing to the downside this is exactly the manipulation trading model guys and over here you can see another example uh, this is our previous day low. This is our previous day low. And over here, you can see that the price is sweeping the previous day low and then reversing to the upside. You can enter on the low time frame, probably spot the new order flow to the upside or look for the break of structure, you know? So basically, this is previous day high. Over here, we do have the sweep of the previous day high. The price is breaking down because we do have the structure. We are getting the break of structure. The price is retesting it and then going to the downside. Like it, literally, we can use the FIB levels over here. Retesting the 80% and then going to the downside. Another example might be like the price is, this is a previous day low. The price is sweeping this low and then reversing like just skyrocketing to the upside over here we do have another example this is previous day high the price is sweeping the previous day high and then reversing to the downside so basically these are the three core entry models by trading the breakout model the reversal model the manipulation model you will be able to trend uh, to trade all the market conditions starting from the trendy market conditions ending by the rangy market conditions and you will be able to spot the early trends with the breakout model and you will be able to catch the reversals uh, with the manipulation model like uh, the manipulation of the previous day high or low and then reversing to the opposite side and about trading the liquidity zones the liquidity sweeps I have created the elaborate like 10 minute video you can check it over here